Howdy guys, I'm back with more Final Fantasy IX. Last time Queen Brane died. So this is our, what, third visit to Alexandria? Anyway, let's talk to the Moogles because I just ran in here and saved. I didn't get a chance to finish exploring last time. The episode was getting long. So let's give Koopo a letter. My big brother sent me a letter. Koopo, where has he been? I've been worried. From Kupo to Kupo, Fossil Roo is very comfortable. I like it here, Kupo. We play hide and seek every day. The most important things in life are to work hard and play hard, Kupo. I'm so glad, or I'm glad my big brother is doing well, Kupo. All right, so no mail. Artemision just delivered a letter to me from far away. Let's read it. Even Moogles want to look beautiful. I use my special item very carefully. You don't come across it very often. It's very special to me. Kubo. Oh, it's a letter from Magrika, the most beautiful Moogle in the world. What a pleasant surprise, Kubo. So what exactly is attractive in Moogle culture? Is it like the color of their fur, how big their pom-pom is? Anyway, how about you, Artemision? I am Artemision, the Magnet Mailman. You are asking me why I don't deliver mail properly? I, I can't tell you. Yes, you can tell me. Get oh, okay, I guess he's not going to tell me. Alright, do you want to buy a Phoenix Pinion High Potion and Elixir? Yes, of course I do. Thanks, buddy. I'll use the money for my next journey. I love Stiltskin. He's such a cutie. He's a little camo hat and everything. Alright, let's see. Pull the rope. Oh, that's pretty. That didn't do a whole lot of anything. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, Shiva. Ooh, Rama. Alright, I guess that wasn't too bad after all. I'll probably need those before too long. I've got that um, card tournament, I guess, is coming up soonish. I'm not really sure when, but I know I'm going to get decimated at it. I don't know what to serve after the new queen's coronation festivities. Oh, I wish the, chi the chef that cooked for Princess Garnet's birthday party would come back. Wasn't that a queena? I've been a man of the sea up until now, but lately I've been considering piloting airships. Regent Sid of Lindblom invented an airship that can fly without the mist. Can you believe that? I wonder if they'll let me on that airship when I go to Lindblom. Boy, especially considering there's no mist now, that... That's a good time to have made an airship like that. Do you know anything about Regent Shid's wife? Oh, do you know anything about Regent Shid's wife? No. Regent Shid's wife is a very stubborn woman. Uh, what happens if I say the other thing? Yes. Okay, then. Nothing. Alright. Well, I'd say she's definitely stubborn given how long the poor guy's been an oglop. I don't know how long he's been one, but pretty darn long from the looks of things. Hey, have you been traveling? I haven't seen you in a while. Alright, well, she's blocking up some amazing treasure upstairs, I'm sure. And my kitten Mittens ran away. It's right there on the roof. Is that not him? Alright, how about... Alright, well, I think that's all of Alexandria that I've explored. Um, I don't, oh, what happened? I was trying to talk to Marcus. Yo, Vivi, can you do me a favor? What is it? I want you to see Ruby's play with us. Hmm, sure, I like plays. I want to walk around some. Okay, sure, I like plays. Cool. Go down to the, the staircase behind us. That's where Ruby's theater is. Bro, what? You and Ruby really don't get along very well. What? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Let's go ahead and go down here, I guess. Blake! Don't you know I hate it when you're late? How many times do I gotta tell ya? Huh? Who are you? Strange, kinda. Hey, Vivi! Is he a friend of yours, Sinna? Hello, Uncle Sinna. I'm not old enough to be your uncle. I'm younger than I look. Ha ha ha! You're a funny one. I like you. Wanna see my play, little fella? Uh, um, yeah. Oh, what a sweetie! I like you even more. 
We'll get rolling in a minute. Sit where you want. I love Ruby. She's like the best. Aw, oh, gonna pick a little corner there, Vivi. Is it really just us? I think your plan worked. Ain't nothing to it. Blank, we'll talk later. Busted. So we're gonna see the play? No, oh, no, we're going up Garnet's big head. Steiner? Yes, princess? Isn't that queen now? Um, I'd like to find Zidane and talk to him. Princess, you have more important matters at hand. You live in a different world now. Oh, what's happening here? Princess, it is time for you to get changed. General Beatrix, will you help her? Yes, sir. The general's gonna help her get changed, okay. Oh, there is something I must give you, princess. Like, not a handmaid or anything, but... Ooh, an opal. Ooh, a topaz. Ooh, an amethyst. Ooh, I love, like, like, I actually love, like, real jewels. I do, like, I like to do beadwork and stuff like that, but man, getting, like, real jewels, it gets me all... <sighs> okay, okay. Those stones contain your power, which Queen Brawne forcibly... Well, that is all in the past. Here, General, um, help the Queen change your clothes. Not General of the Army, General of the Fashion. Master Steiner? Master Steiner, do you intend to stay here and watch? Uh, n no I am not. Uh, excuse me. Poor Steiner. Doesn't have a clue what's going on. Not at all. Beatrix, I'd like to see Zidane, please. Now may not be a good time. Even you agree with Steiner, your highness. I know, it, it's okay. Quit being a brat, Garnet. It's time to grow up and be the queen. What's I go up to? She's up to something. With Dagger out of the picture, now's my chance to win Sedane's heart. First, I'll write him a love letter. I'm gonna make it the most romantic letter ever written. I like this music. Becoming a queen may place quite a burden on Princess Garnet, but she must persevere. The people of Alexandria are watching. Oh my gosh, I love this music so hard. He looks pretty smart. Hey, you look like the bookish tight. <laughs> what gives you that impression? You really want me to explain? Oh yes, I'm very curious. <sighs> Where should I start? First, your beard. Second, your nerdy hat. Third, your thick eyeglasses. All signs of a nerdy philosopher. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you? Hey, are you a writer? Well, yes, I did make my living as a writer for a while. Will you help me write a letter? A letter? Uh-oh. Gladly, if you think I can be of assistance. Okay, then, follow me. Gonna write a love letter to Zidane or something, isn't she? That girl has a horn. That horn. He knows something. I had completely forgotten about it until now. I'd never been, been as surprised as I was that day. A ship drifted ashore after a storm. Inside the ship were a woman and a baby girl. The woman was dead, but the girl was still breathing. Imagine my surprise as I looked into the girl's face, because the girl looked exactly like Princess Garnet, who had just passed away. <gasps> Would? With one exception. She had a horn. <gasps> a human with a horn. Oh man, so Garnet, well, Dagger, was from Mandane, sorry, and she had a horn. 
Oh my gosh, where had she come from? The king ordered the girl's horn removed. Well, wouldn't that leave a scar or something? Wouldn't she have like a big gash on her head where the horn used to be? The girl cried out in pain. He and his wife, Queen Brane, decided to raise the girl as Princess Garnet. But that girl who spoke to me, could she be related to Princess Garnet? So the real or dagger is a replacement princess. Does she know she's a replacement princess? Whoa, 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 whoa. That explains why Garnet looks smoking hot and Brane was an elephant lady. So was the original Garnet an elephant lady too? Like, I don't imagine. How the heck did she manage to replace? Oh, well, I'm hurting my head. I guess they'll explain. Hey, will you hurry up? Oh, excuse me. So Garnet had a horn. Princess, you look splendid. I'm trying to imagine what she must have looked like with a horn. Aw, thank you. By the way, there is something I must tell you, Beatrix. Yes, Princess? I am not my mother's. I mean, Queen Brane is not my real mother. Princess Garnet. Dr. Todd has already informed us. However, my allegiance to you remains the same, if not stronger. Beatrix, thank you. Yeah, you were real loyal when you were fighting me, but, you know, whatever. It's finished. Zidane will fall in love with me the instant he reads this letter. Thanks, mister. <laughs> it was my pleasure, my lady. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my name is Aiko. I'm from Medane Sari. I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Aw, she's such a cutie. From Medane Sari. Medane Sari is the village of summoners. But I thought that was only a legend. What could this mean? So basically no one's really been off the mist continent for them to think this is a legend, right? Oh look, I'm carrying the letter in my little hand there. Oh, that's so cute. So what happens if I walk back in here? What is going on here? Alright, so he has nothing to say. Magnet, I don't have anything. I want mail, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me save real quick. Just, just in Casey's. You know how these games go. Boy, so Garnet. Man, Garnet. Garnet, man. I really don't. I don't really see how she can have a horn and not have like a damaged head or anything like that. So I wonder if her and Iko are like cousins, so to say. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to hand this letter to Zidane. Where did he go, anyway? Oh, ha! Oh, ah, help! Hey, are you okay? C -c -c cat please. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you jump out. But you're too high up. I can't get you down. <laughs> Stop laughing, you poop! Oh, shoot, my letter! Hey, if you can't get me down... Deliver that letter to Zidane, alright? To Zidane? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, I already see where this is going. He, Baku's gonna give it to Zidane and say a girl from the castle gave this Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see where this is going already. Mm-hmm. Poor Aiko. What am I supposed to do now? Poor Aiko. <gasps> Cute thing. All the characters are so adorable in this game. The only one that kind of chaps my ass is Garnet, and that's just because she keeps running off all the time. Hey, the boat ain't here. Castle patrol completed. Huh? Why, if it isn't Baku, the leader of Tantalus. Who just called my name? Oh, it's you. Should we capture him? No, he saved my life. You may go. I will handle this. Yes, sir. 
ain't such a knucklehead anymore, huh? Silence! This is no place for thieves. You must leave now. So that's how it is, huh? <sighs> Do I gotta remind you that one of my boys saved your kingdom? But I bet you ain't got no ears for listening to a lowlife like me. Are you talking about Zidane? Yes, he did protect the princess and her kingdom. But that doesn't change the fact that you are all thieves. I cannot let your kind roam about the castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Well, I don't got any reason to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where Zidane might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we returned. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two about proper manners. Okay, I get your point. I've had enough of your self-righteousness. Just in time. Gwahaha! Perfect timing! Take me to town, into town. Did he drop the letter? Is that what that is on the ground there? By the stairs on the left? Like, here, I'm gonna bring my mouse on screen here. Like, that? Did he drop, drop that, or has that always been there? I don't know. Ah, uh, so it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. Sigh. Alexandria is at peace again, yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Hmm? Oh, he did drop the letter. Steiner must have dropped this. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall wait await you at the dock. Oh no. What is this letter? Did Steiner? Write me a love letter? Oh, this... This isn't what I was expecting. I thought that it was gonna... Oh, no. Steiner. I don't see Beatrix and Steiner getting together. That's gonna be a weird one. Dagger. Are you all cozy on your throne already? No. No, no, no. I can't start my day without Dagger. Her smile, her voice... Her voice is like a beautiful song, and her song makes me soar high into the sky. But now... You can still fly high, darling. Zidane, you can do it. She's right. Why are you still moping? This isn't like you at all. Yeah. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel. Whoa! Long time no see, Zidane. What happened? You look pathetic. Boss, let me join Tantalus again. We can steal treasure together, just like old times. Treasure, eh? There ain't much treasure lying around this world, boy. Besides, a Tantalus always gets what he sets his eyes on. That's our rule number one, remember? Nope, you don't. You got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't even capture a canary, you ain't got what it takes to join Tantalus. Boss? Hey, Zidane, can we go see Dagger? <laughs> Why can't you be more honest like this little guy? Aww. Can we? Can we? Please. All right. Let's cheer her on before she becomes the queen. Yeah. All right. So I've got control of Zidane again. Oh, ATE. Here we go. I forgot. Darn, I forgot to give Zidane that letter. Huh? 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 <laughs> I lost it. Oh dear, there's gonna be it's gonna get kinda interesting with that um with that letter now, I guess. 
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the save uh, Moogles and then I think we're gonna visit Princess Garnet next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Final Fantasy IX. I know we didn't get to do a whole lot right now, but besides finish exploring Alexander, I got some plot development there, but next time we're gonna see our beautiful queen. Anyways, thanks again for watching and bye for now!